Hi YouTube. Um, there's a few newspaper reports. Well, basically, um, I think they're setting the stage for us over here on the UK coastlines. Um, I'm going to upload a video before this as well from another user where there's basically the same story in a different paper. This is a couple of days old, uh, the Mail Online. Um, basically what I want to say to you is um, the video I uploaded, the one titled I'm a, I was urged to upload this I think it was called, it's the first video I uploaded when my face was shown on YouTube. And I was basically, it was a few months before that that I started having the visions basically the first visions I've had three sets of visions where waves come into this place um, what I might actually do is go to the exact places I might try and do it next weekend or something go to the exact places where I had where I was in these visions and show you what I've seen but it's quite strange because what I've seen actually tallies with the reports in this news article because um, on one of the visions it showed where the wave went to and the devastation and it basically travelled up the valley here and it travelled six miles inland so that basically tallies with what they're saying here so that's what I'll try and do, I'll try and make a video later on a later date and I'll go to exact places and I'll from the places are explained to you what I actually seen in the, in, in the visions. Okay, so uh, Britain faces tidal wave threat. Britain may be threatened by a monster wave that is predicted to devastate the coasts of Florida and Brazil following a volcanic eruption in the Canary Islands. Scientists said today the mega tsunami generated by part of the mountain twice the size of the Isle of Man falling into the sea would be the biggest ever recorded in history. Today scientists warn that the UK would probably not escape the disaster unscathed. A weaker but still hugely destructive wave was likely to hit Britain's Atlantic coastline, travelling at speeds of up to 500 miles per hour. The tsunami would be an unstoppable force. Its first target was expected to be the West Saharan coast of Morocco, where the wave would measure an awesome 330 foot from crest to trough. But the built-up coastal areas of Florida, Brazil and the Caribbean were expected to suffer the greatest destruction, according to a new forecast by Dr Simon Day of the Benfield Greig Hazard Research Centre at University College London. Here the wave would reach heights of 130 foot to 164 foot, higher than Nelson's Colon, and travel four or five miles inland, flattening everything in its path. Previous research by Dr. Day predicted that the future eruption of the Cumbria Vaya volcano likely to cause the western flank of the mountain to slide into the sea. The energy released by the collapse would be equal to the electricity consumption of the entire US in six months. <clears throat> Working with Dr. Stephen Ward from the University of California, Dr. Day has now produced a new model which predicts more accurately how big the tsunami would be and where it would strike. Immediately after landslide, a dome of water almost 3,000 foot high and several miles wide from f will, will form only to collapse and rebound. Propelled by a series of crests and troughs, the tsunami would travel a distance of almost 155 miles in just 10 minutes, the model predicts. Racing at the speed of a jet aircraft, it would reach Florida and the Caribbean in 8 or 9 hours. A wall of water 164 foot high would smash into the coasts of Florida and the Caribbean islands, the forecast predicts. The northern coast of Brazil would be hit by a wave more than 130 foot high. 
uh, Europe would not escape the devastation according to the according to the computer model a smaller but still substantial tsunami wave was expected to pound the Atlantic coasts of Britain Spain Portugal and France Dr. Day said the collapse would occur during some future eruption after days or weeks of precariously de deformation and earthquakes. An effective earthquake monitoring system could provide advance warning of a likely collapse and allow early emergency management organisations a valuable window of time in which to plan and respond. Eruptions of Cumbria via occur at intervals of decades to a century or so and there may be a number of eruptions before it collapse. Although the year-to-year -year probability of collapse is therefore low, the resulting tsunami would be a major disaster with indirect effects around the world. Cumbria via needs to, mon needs, needs to monitor closely for any signs of impending volcanic activity and the deformation that would proceed collapse. Accurate estimates of the scale of economic loss caused by the tsunami are yet to be made, but they are expected to amount to many trillions of US dollars. So if HARP was involved, um, if they harped to this um, already unstable part of the Canary Islands, but would they do something like that? <laughs> Well, I don't need to answer that, do I? So that's basically it for now. God bless.